Hey, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I wanna talk about my three-step process that I use to launch five-figure plus info and digital products. And this process, I recently use it to generate $11,215 in seven days. So if you stick around to the end, you're gonna see what this three-step process is and how you can use it to launch your own top selling info and digital products too. So if you're new here, my name is Sean and on this channel I talk about how to create internet income by writing online. So if you want more content around that, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my future videos. And with that said, let's hop into my computer. I'm gonna break down this three-step process for you right now so that you can launch your own top selling digital products too. So on the screen here, this, is, this was over a seven day period. It was for a product I launched on January 24th of this year, 2022, until January 30th, and it was called the Cash Windfall Campaigns. And this product did $11,215 over seven days, and will easily do another 40K to 50K plus on the back end from people buying my other products and services. So this product that I'm gonna show you is actually gonna be sold as an evergreen front end offer now. It's linked below this YouTube video if you wanna check it out. And what I mean by evergreen front end offer is people can buy it 24 seven, 365. And so it doesn't have to go through this launch process anymore. But what I wanna share with you is how I took this new product over the three phases from idea to launch and how we generated five figures in sales so that you can potentially do five figure launches too. So I'll walk through each of these steps and keep it pretty informal. I'm just gonna show you examples and show you exactly what I did here. So step one is the idea phase. And I have a Facebook group, it's called Email Marketing Rainmakers. And when people join it, ask them a question. It says, hey, uh, tell me more about you. What are you currently hoping to learn here? And so one of the things that comes up a bunch is people saying that they want to run email campaigns and social post campaigns to sell their own offers, their own products. So I didn't have a product that shared anything around that. I had something called the super fast sales email challenge, which is how to write your first email, but nothing around like done for you campaigns that work to sell your own offers. So I made a hand raiser post to my group and a hand raiser post is just, is just asking people if they want if they're interested in something, if they want to see more about something. And so here's the post right here. It says, can I get your thoughts on something? I've noticed a lot of folks join this group wanting to write emails to sell their own products. So I'm thinking about putting seven of my cash windfall campaigns for info and digital products into a course. You can run these for your own offers and or clients whenever you need a quick cash injection. And each of these campaigns have been worth over six figures between my business and clients. Would you be interested in this? Comment windfall below and I'll put it together if there's enough interest. And you can see here, 71 comments. And so that tells me that there's an interest there, right? There's 71 people that are willing to pay for a product like this. I even collected a few pre-sale payments before I even created anything, before I even started making the promo posts. And this just gives me validation. So this phase is crucial because it keeps you from spending too much time and money and energy creating a product that nobody wants, which is a big problem that people have when they launch their own digital products. So I made this mistake myself in 2019. I created a course and only five people, it took me four months to create this course and only five people signed up for that, which is not a good return on time, return on investment. So by using this hand raiser post here and getting a few pre-sales, I knew something would sell before creating it. So now I got some sales, I got some interest, and I can go and create the product because I know it's gonna sell. So that's step one. It's probably the most important step is the idea phase is coming up with your idea and validating that idea, not just having the idea, but making sure that it's something that people want. And if you have an audience, it's easy to do this. If you don't, it's not gonna be as easy to do this, right? So you need some kind of audience, even if it's not a big audience. So step two is the creation phase. So I have a done for you service and an information and online education business where I write simple emails and social posts to sell digital products. And since I'm doing this every day, both for clients and for my own offers, I often find new campaigns and new emails and posts that do well. And so my product, the Cash Windfall Campaigns, is just a collection of all these best campaigns. And so it's the concept of selling your sawdust at work. And basically this concept is learn something cool, get a cool result, document how you got the result, and sell that process to others who want that same result. So I actually heard this for the first time from a guy named Jack Butcher on Twitter who introduced me to this concept. And when you use this concept, creating digital products and info products and just offers in general becomes very easy. It's the easiest part because all you're really doing is selling the byproducts of the work that you're already doing. So like I mentioned, I'm doing this done for you service. I'm running my education biz where I'm selling digital products and courses. 
And so everything that I do where I'm sending out emails and social posts to sell my own offers and other people's offers, I can just take the emails and posts I've already made that did well and put it into a product, which is exactly what I did here. So all I really had to do was package up the campaigns I've already sent and pretty it up a bit and then put a price tag on it and make it available. And that was my creation phase, right? I made a few videos that talked about the campaigns, but it was all written already because I'd already sent them out. I'd already proven it would work. So that's the creation phase and probably the easiest part about this because if you are using this concept of selling your sawdust, you should have a ton of different digital product ideas that you can test and that you can create. So that's step two, easiest step. Let's go to step three. So step three is the launch phase. And what I do here is I write the offer on a GDoc or Google Doc sales page and then include an incentive so that I can have a deadline. So my incentive for this was you can get a discount on this product until a certain date. In this case, it was January 30th. But this is the Google Doc sales page and it's still the current sales page that I use here. And you can see here that I have the pricing here, but at the time it was sign up by this date and you get $200 off. And so that's what I mean by having a deadline or an incentive, because if you don't have an incentive, people don't really act as quickly. They don't have a reason to move and buy the product. So discounts and bonuses work very well here. I use these all the time during launch processes, discounts and bonuses. I actually prefer to do bonuses a little more because I don't like to discount my stuff, but I will do launch discounts if it's for the first time. On this product, again, there was a discounted price if they signed up before 131 and nothing moves people like a deadline. People really don't act unless there is some reason to act now. And that's why I have these deadlines. My audience is spread across four platforms. So I have a Twitter account, a YouTube channel, which you're obviously watching this on now. I have a Facebook group and an email list. And so what I do is I write and send a daily email promoting my offer. And that email is repurposed for my Facebook group and on my YouTube channel in the community tab. And those are also turned into a few tweets. So one piece of content, one email becomes four pieces of content that sell this offer. And so I'm lazy. The reason I do this is I want the most juice out of every squeeze. I don't want to have to create a unique piece of content for every single channel. So that's why repurposing is very powerful. So let's take a look at an example right here. This is in my Facebook group and you can see this was an hour before I closed the campaign down and this is selling my cash windfall campaigns. And you can see it's linking to the Google Doc sales page here. And so I did this for one week. I typically had one to two posts uh, every day in this group and on my email list and my YouTube channel. And on the last day I had four to five posts. And so you can see here, these are all promoting my cash windfall campaigns. And so if I hop back into the doc here, my schedule Monday through Friday was one email a day and repurposed to the other channels. Saturday was two emails. And then Sunday was actually six emails. And that might seem like a lot, right? There's 13 emails total across those seven days that were repurposed across my social channels. And you might be thinking, holy crap, that's a lot of emails, especially on the last day. And it is, but most of your sales are gonna come on the last day because of that deadline, right? That's why we have that deadline and that's why we push it really hard on that last day. So that's when most of your sales will come if you're running a launch like this. And if you don't push hard, you're gonna have people that just twiddle their thumbs and sit on the fence and they just wait till the next time because there's no reason to act. So a good indication of if you're doing this right, if you're pushing hard enough, is I usually get on the last day, I get a ton of unsubscribes and unfollows. That's good, right? Uh, as long as you're not getting people like yelling at you and hitting the spam button. So I don't get a ton of spam complaints, but I get a lot of people who unsub and unfollow. And that's good because that means you're doing it right. You're pushing hard enough and you want people on your list who are going to become customers and buyers anyway, because those are the true people that you can actually help. So as far as the content in the promo emails, it's going to depend. It varies, but here's a few ideas. You can use FAQs, frequently asked questions. You can use testimonials of people using your other offers or your products or your services. You can talk about ways it's going to make their life better. You can talk about time and money and energy and status, either objections or aspirations. You can talk about reasons why that product or that offer is different than anything else that they've tried. This is a really powerful one here. You can use countdowns, right? So you saw me using countdowns here where it said like 59 minutes left or two hours left or eight hours left, right? So this is a countdown post right here. And so I do these on launch, mid launch or mid campaign. I do it on the last day and when there's a certain amount of time left. This is an example of countdown launches or countdown posts. Now I like to think of the launch posts like a pendulum. 
So I like to swing back and forth between talking about pain and then talking about pleasure, right? Talking about the desired outcome. So one post will talk about the present pain that they struggle with in relation to what you offer. The next will talk about what life looks like when they achieve the desired outcome with the help of your product. And so I can't share all the promo posts here, but if you want to see a live launch and what that looks like, you can join my email list, seananthony.co. You'll see the, the campaigns live in action. And then you can also join my email or my Facebook group, Email Marketing Rainmakers. If you go to emailrainmaker.com, that'll take you here and you can see all these posts in the group. And so you're going to get a free marketing and sales education just by watching me run these campaigns and send emails to my list. So if you join my list and you're interested in my offers or you're interested in just seeing how this works, just keep that in mind, right? Look at what I'm doing, study what I'm doing and see how I alternate between pain and pleasure and desired outcome and getting away from things that they don't like. So that's step three and wrapping it up. Those are the three phases that I use for launching five figure plus info products. I use this process to pull in $11,215 in sales over seven days on this cash windfall campaigns product here. And even better, I get a hands-off product that I can sell every day, 24-7, 365 without my involvement. I can link to it and on my social profile so people can buy it. It becomes this new income stream for me on an evergreen basis. And many of these customers who buy this product are going to go on to buy it a second, a third, a fourth time and become lifelong clients and customers of mine. So I hope you found this useful. The three phases, again, are idea, creation, and launch. If you need to watch this again, go and do so. And also, go to seananthony.co, opt in for my email Rainmaker newsletter. You're getting my free course. It's called the 1K a Day Offer Buffet, where I'm gonna teach you how to create a business very similar to mine. So if you're interested in creating an information business and services business kind of combined into one, go to seananthony.co. If you opt in for my free email Rainmaker newsletter, you get a free course as well the 1K Day Offer Buffet that talks about that. So that's it for this video. If you found this valuable, please give it a like. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.